Megan Bibb County has a new solid waste director, but she's not new to the department. Junior journalist Jacob Bailey and Sophia Bowling talk trash with Pat Rains. We met Pat Rains at her office near Central City Park. And I usually like to keep on my heels just to show him a lady can do it. Miss <laughs> Pat is the first woman to hold Bibb County's position of solid waste director. I'm going to do the best that I can to uphold that position, but it's not just me. Miss Pat has 36 employees in her department. Most of them collect household trash and yard debris. We have to work whether it's 105 degrees or whether it's 10 degrees. People still want their garbage picked up. Some work here at the landfill. Hey, that's a good thing that you don't smell it. We thought it would be stinky, but it's not. We thought we would find a mountain of trash, but it was just a mountain. In the month of August, we collected 600 tons of yard waste and of just regular municipal solid waste, we collected 3,000 tons. But the trash actually gets buried, then grass is planted. By 2022, this landfill will be closed. Anything that we can keep out of our landfill only benefits us and our environment. As Pat says, it is important for all of us to recycle, but she believes young people can really make a difference. It's starting with you all, because you all can take what you find in school and take it home and implement it, then you're educating your parents. Working to make Macon Bibb County cleaner and better. I'm junior journalist Jacob Bailey. And I'm junior journalist Sophia Bowling. Well done, they did a great job. Now Miss Pat says one goal she has is to have county workers collect trash instead of an outside company. She's worked with Bibb County and the consolidated Macon Bibb government for 29 years.